In what ways is your media product used, developed, or challenged forms and conventions of real media products? What generic conventions did you follow within your trailer? Within our trailer, we used a stereotypical antagonist of a lower working class in an urban city landscape who's involved with crime. And we used crescendo building music, fast paced editing, and short takes which feature heavily in drama, thriller, hybrid genres such as Harry Brown and Kid Hood. Did you feel confined by the forms and conventions of the thriller, drama, hybrid genre? If not, how did you challenge them? Within our trailer, we used a non-stereotypical female protagonist who is foreign and comes from a middle class background and we used a voiceover in a different language from the protagonist as well as using English characters. How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary text? What conventions feature synergistically in your ancillary text and products alike? We use similar photos throughout um, and we heighten the contrast as well as using dark colours. During your research and exploration of the film Harry Brown, what forms and conventions did you develop? When watching Harry Brown, we saw that they used dark colours in order to create tension, which we then developed into our own trailer. We then used yellows, reds and blues within our trailer to create dramatic effect. By using high contrast lighting, we have developed from the stereotypical dark urban lighting seen in many dramas. What social networking promotion featured on your website poster? We created an Instagram, Facebook and Twitter page for our product, therefore creating word of mouth promotion as well as web sharing between friends. Um, so we were using the prosumers culture to further promote our product. What have you learned from your audience's feedback? In our preliminary discussion with our target group, which was aged from 15 to 24, we pitched our plot to, of our trailer. Some people were wary about how a foreign voiceover may affect the popularity of the trailer. But when the trailer was finished, we asked them again, and they said that we achieved a better trailer through the inclusion of both French and English. How did you use media technologies in construction and research planning plus evaluation stages? In the research stages, we used usable IMDb, usable allowed us to look at official trailers and previous trailers made by our school so we could learn and modify any elements they used. IMDb gave us information on the movie's details, such as the general and age rating. For the construction stages, we used fine copper encouragement. YouTube tutorials helped us to overcome any difficulties by showing us how to properly utilise the editing software so that we can see. In the promotion stages, we used YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to initially release teasers in which the audience could comment on and give feedback. Then, releasing our main trailer on YouTube and extra images from the trailer on social networking sites, along with the release dates and other information about the film. 